Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for March 5th of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to the mod review for March 5th of 2021. Up on your screen right now you'll see a couple timestamps, one for vehicles, one for equipment, and one for placeables today since we have quite a few mods to go through. Um, feel free to jump ahead to those. If you're looking for one specific mod down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever mod you are looking for. But we're going to go ahead and start off as we always do with the updates for today. So we have updates to the Crampy 30 1070 by Splinter Curdy. We have an update to the Gold Crest Valley Chicken Pen by Ada Modding AVP Team. We have an update to the Still MS660 uh, by Driver 300. An update to the Manther. Uh, Atina 2722 and I'm not going to read the change logs off. They're all down there below Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read those for yourselves and then continuing from there We have updates to the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailers by 82 studio update to the cheese map I'm not even gonna try uh, 55 2, 3 by crawl 911 update to the Massey Ferguson 66,000 or 6600 series uh, by blower uh, update to the Kroger saw 32 by bad time 20 and then finally, we also have an update to Jasmine uh by Bart's, Bartso NV3. And we also have a new map today. This is Upper Lake Farm by the Shanty Boys map creation, Silver Eagle and all those guys. Uh, I've done a great job on this map, so make sure you go ahead and download this. Give them a five-star like. Um, and if you're looking for a video on it, I did do an early access video on it uh, down below. Um, and this is uh, targeted for um, all platforms, which actually, let me check real quick. I can't remember if it has been released for all platforms yet or if it's still in testing for console. So let me make sure real quick. Before I say something that's wrong, nope, it's out for all platforms, folks. So uh, make sure you enjoy that. Yeah, well done, Shanty Boys. So there you go. That is Upper Lake Farm. And without further ado, we're going to go and jump into all the other new mods for today. First up, we have the Tatra Phoenix EU6. This is by Tarsi I007. This is 6.76 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is found in the store, under vehicles, under trucks. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Uh, the Phoenix EU6 6x6, uh, 462 horsepower, uh, 440 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour, um, and it costs $121,000 starting price to buy. If we open it up in here, main color can be adjusted to anything on that palette there. Room color, you can also adjust to anything on there. So uh, 3,500 more if you want to do the room colors. Now you can also do, look at the front, plastic down, plastic up, plastic down, plastic up. So there's a few different configurations of how you want to, adjust the truck on the front but that's what you get uh this one is 15 grand if you want to go with that i think that's the most expensive one in there yeah there's a, yeah the 15 grand one there okay anyhow there you go that is the tantra phoenix eu6 let's go ahead and hop in it here make sure you guys can hear everything okay that's good let me turn up my volume a little bit on the game here for the recording horn lights one two three one two three we go in the cab ears work everything looks good there you go that's what you're looking for there you go that is the phoenix or the tetra phoenix eu6 Next up, we have this. This is the Case IH Axial Flow 4130. This is by Farm Central Soul. This is 18.14 megabytes to download, and this is available for all platforms. This is located in the store under Harvesters. We scroll down to the very end, right here, the 4130, 51,000 to buy, 253 horsepower, 553 liters, of, or 550 liters of fuel, holds all of these crop types, runs at 24 miles per hour, and will hold 7,050 uh, liters of whatever you're harvesting. Now, if we go into here, you can adjust the main color anything on there which is actually pretty cool so you can do just about anything on there uh rim color you can adjust as well to just about anything so there you go that was not very dramatic they're a little bit different um and definitely adjust the rim color thousand adjust the main color now down here wheel setup we have standard transport twin wheels back to standard under design we have standard and cover so you can add a cover on if you want to i did add a cover on i didn't couldn't figure out a way to get it off so we'll have to see about that if we can get it off or not but anyhow even with some configurations on here and we go let's say twin wheels here uh we're only looking at fifty-seven thousand to buy this and it also has a header that i have on it right now there's no corn headers that came with this it just comes with a 
Grain header, which is down here at the end, 46,000 to buy, so almost as much as the harvester uh, will harvest those crop types as usual. 7.6 meter working width, runs at six miles an hour. All oh, that's pretty typical. So if we hop into here, we can adjust the main color also to everything on that list. So you could do just about anything with that if you want, but there you go. All right, we'll hop in it. Lights, one, two, three, four, off. One, two, three, four, off. There you go, horn. Pretty weak horn. <laughs> in the cab. Everything seems to move and do its thing. Anyhow. B to turn it on. You can adjust as you normally can with headers. And then what else we got on there? I don't see anything. I say O for pipe out if we want to put the pipe out, but I don't see anything else crazy going on there. We should be able to finish up some of this that we missed from our harvester yesterday. There you go, it's putting a straw swath out. And if we disable the straw swath, there's the animation for what you're gonna get coming out the back there. And we can unload here if we want, just just for fun. <laughs> Oop, there we go, get rid of that. All right, there you go. That is the Case IH Axial Flow 4130. Next up, as we move into the equipment, we have the KUHN 4830. This is by Hemerson Dentino. Uh, this is 2.88 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is found in the store. This is found under subsoilers. Down at the very end, 22,000 to buy, 120 horsepower required, 3.5 meter working width, runs at seven miles per hour. Now, if we go into here, there's no customization. You get what you get. This will uh, take care of the plowing state while cultivating a field. Open up the helm menu there. Can hire a worker to use it. V to lower it down. Should just leave a cultivated state, and there you go. That is the KUHN 4830. All right, next up we have the WCM UMM slash S slash HP. This is by Woodcraft Modding. This is 5.24 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. It does say required cultivator field creator, but obviously that's not a uh, that's that specific mod by Wapster is not available for all platforms. So we're going to try to run without it just to see what it can do. And I believe that so this top section here can uh, create fields as well. Uh, but this will cultivate and it'll also work as a mulcher. I've kind of tested it out here so you can see it mulch down the grass there um, as well as prepared the field here. So if we hop in it, I can lower it down doing that. I can adjust it pretty, pretty easily doing that. Now, if you have it too low, because there's not like a if you just lower it down, you might actually want to adjust it. As you can see, it lifted up my tractor pretty far. B to turn it on. You can't hire a worker to use it, so you have to do it all yourself. But as you can see, it does leave a cultivated state. Uh, if I put down that guy using the mouse buttons, those aren't doing anything, I don't think. Nope, they don't look like they're doing absolutely anything. But you should be able to use those to create fields if you really wanted to, um, if you install that. Otherwise, for console players, it just might be a little bit decorative for you. And it does say it will... Let me look through here. I'm curious if it'll work on trees, since it's under forestry equipment inside the store, which actually, by the way, we need to look at that. Um, let's take a look in here. So it is under the in the store, under forestry equipment, all the way down at the end here. Uh, Woodcraft Manufacturing, the UMM SHP, 67,000 to buy, 3 miles per hour working speed, which I'm driving way faster than that out, out right now. 2.5 meter working width requires 300 horsepower. By opening it up in here, there's no customization. So let's drive up here and see if it will work on a tree. I got lots of stuff on the ground. I got logs on the ground as well here. So something it should work on. You could be able to, or you should be able to put it on the front if you really wanted to. It just wouldn't really work that well for making fields. And there you go. It does remove logs fairly efficiently, actually. Let's see if I can take out a full grown tree. And at least it knocked it over. Perfect. Now I just made a mess down there. Great. <laughs> All right, anyhow, there you go. That is the WCM UMM SHP. Next up, we have the Gerstead Pack. This is by North Modding Company. This is 12.57 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. This is a set of uh, products to work with or, or attachments to work with the Hudig. So it has 
A couple of buckets. This one is the light material bucket, 6,500 liters, and it should just attach to all wheel loaders, by the way. And then we have this one at 1,355 liters, this one at 3,500 liters, and then we have a couple of attachers, which I don't necessarily know all the things you could do with those, but we're just going to go ahead and hook them up and see how they go. There you go. Nice big bucket there. Works out just fine. Oop. Let's go hook up this guy here and take a look at it. I don't know. That looks like it extends out, but I could be wrong with that. Anything crazy on there I'm missing here? Not that I see. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm not sure what that will hook up to or anything like that, but there you go, just to kind of show you a couple of the attachments they have on there. I honestly couldn't think of a use right off the top of my head, but again, I don't use this stuff very often, so that also makes sense. But there you go, that is the Gerstead Pack by North Modding Company. Next up, we have this. This is the, the Lily AP730 by our ARM team. This is 16.5 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Found in the store under baling technology, there's two balers in this pack, and it does say it requires the straw harvest add-on, so I have that installed as well. Um, I have this one out just to take a look at the chute. Um, this one is basically the same thing as the other chute, both 14,000 to buy, uh, both require 51 horsepower. This will hold 478 pieces, which I'll explain that, that's twine in a second here, runs at eight miles an hour. This will do 292 pieces at eight miles an hour. Now if I open it up in here, there are customization options available for the colors if you'd like to. And then you can do trailer Borg or Michelin has. Let's see if I can get down to where you can actually see the tires. Got a couple options there. Trailer Borg, and that's it. So, attacher type, standard with toolbar. Which I don't see what that's changing. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Um, fill twine manually or automatically. I did manually in the one I had just so I could try to demonstrate it. Uh, if we go into this one, all the configurations are the same under there. So there we go. So pretty cool little baler. That's the twine thing there opened up if I hop in it here. Um, Z will open and close that there. X will fold and unfold. That folds it up. Unfold. Pull it up the twine there. And then these little twine guys, the little twine pallet, they're, little, they're little, really pallets, but they are under pallets. Found right here, five dollars for two pieces of them. So might be a little obnoxious to load up a bunch. Oh, and I'm gonna throw that one somewhere. Yeah, I don't think it's letting me take it. It does look full. Those things do empty out, I believe. So uh, if we bail first, we should be able to get some in there. So anyhow, let's go ahead and oh, close the net box. My bad. B to turn it on, and we're baling grass. So, they're not super crazy big bales. Oh, actually, that uh, in the store, that was, I think that was actually the bale size, how many, um, not how many pieces of twine, I think that was the bale size itself. So yeah, obviously we're making quite a few bales here. I'm not sure if we can hit Y to unload. No, it doesn't seem to be. Let's try that now. There we go. Tons of bales. Tons of bales. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get this unfolded again and see if it used any twine. It doesn't even look like it touched the twine, but you should be able to load more in there. I'm not sure how long it'll take until you're out or anything like that, but and I tried emptying it using the easy development commands, but I, it didn't work. So there you go. You should be able to load twine in there, but that is the Lily AP730. Next up, we have the Lizard MT3. This is by Caster DS Agrar Service. This is 7.26 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If we go into here, we should be able to load milk or water into this bad boy. So let's go under, oh gosh, is it under animals? I'm pretty sure it's under animals at the very back. Yep, here it is, Lizard MT3, 20,000 to buy, 28,000 liters, milk, water. Now, if we go into here, um, you can, load capacity small, we'll do 15,000 liters, load capacity middle, do 20 and then 25 for low capacity big. Now you can do wheel brand lizard, knock in, 
or Trelleborg. So a couple options on that. I think I've gone with knock-ins. Non-decal. You can go German, English, French, and non-decal. So there you go. Nice little milk trailer. Swivel axe on the front. It does have a rear hitch. And it does say you have to open the covers in order to get liquid to load in. So let's go ahead and just fill it up with milk or something. Anything else on there I'm missing? I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And to close it back down. But there you go. That is a milk or water transport for you. The Lizard MT3. All right, and that is the end of our equipment. Basically, these are kind of our transitional mods now. That'll probably be kind of classified under equipment in that um, timestamp put at the beginning. But first thing I have for you is Louder Kloss Air Hunks. This is by LS Modding. It's 13 kilobytes uh, to download, and it's for PC Mac players. So um, it makes the horn really loud, which prepare yourself for this. It's very loud. Yeah, it makes it that loud. So that that what that is what it does, and it does it very well. So there you go. That's the Louder Kloss Air Hunks. Next up, we have the Land Handle Wilhelm Seeds. This is by Hirsch Modding and Hirsch Design. This is 0.48 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. This has, if we go into the store, these are just a couple of seed pallets under here, right here. Seeds black, 1,780 to buy, 2,100 liters of seeds. Or the seeds white, which are cheaper, 1,230 liters of seeds, or $1,230 for the same amount of seeds. So there you go. And there are seed packs right there for you. All right, next up, we have the Modern Garage Pack. This is by Ecus. This is 5.72 megabytes to download, and it is for all platforms. These are found in the store, under placeables, under sheds. We scroll down here. Right here, these three. So first one, small garage, $45,000 to buy, $20 a day maintenance. Medium garage, $35,000, also $20 a day. Big garage is $50,000 and $20 a day. So we'll take a look at all of them in that order. So doors open just fine. Look in here. We open up the help menu here. Halogen light on, I guess. Switch light on. I don't know what that does. <laughs> that might be an outdoor light. I couldn't get that door open either. Weird. Okay. Yeah, it's probably those lights on the outside here. Let's go ahead and turn them off and see. Yep, there you go. So it's those outdoor lights. And then is there anything else I'm missing in here? Nope, doesn't appear to be. Okay, nice detail around the outside of the, the shop or the shed as well. And this one here, we have just a single door, kind of a bigger garage. And it looks like we have the halogens for the outside lights, and it looks like we have lights on for inside. Move over here. We have basically just the big version of the other ones. Where are the lights here? Oh, here they are. Turn light on, and turn basically the exterior lights on. And all the doors will open as you would expect. But there you go. That's the modern garage pack. Next up, we have this. This is the old metal shed. This is by Sim Saniers. I'm probably just saying that completely wrong, but it's 3.44 megabytes to download. And it is for all platforms. If we go into the store, this is also found under sheds. Right there, $8,000 to buy. $15 a day maintenance for you. So there you go. It's an old metal shed. Exactly what it says it is. So I like kind of that rust detail and the corrugated metal there but there you go that's the old metal shed next we have this this is the large grain storage this is by didact 96 this is 15.69 megabytes to download and this is for all platforms found in the store under sheds i believe actually yes under sheds it's not like a technical style yeah 62,000 to buy 25 dollars a day maintenance um so yeah it says you can also store your machines here and season's ready yeah, I don't see anything about it actually legit storing stuff. So I think you just it's just kind of a manual option if you want to do it. Lights on there. Oop, lights on there. One light in the corner over there. Lights on. Now, I do I have map objects hider on? Sometimes you can tell if there's a tip collision with the map objects hider, but I think only if it's built into the map. And then what is this here? Oh, show workshop. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like where all these things are. I'm just highlighting where I need to go. Lights on. There we go. And that is the... I should just go around back just to take a look at it real quick. Okay, yep. That is the large grain storage for you. Oh, the other thing I want to note with that. Um, if you go to place this... 
So if I go to place this, I can't, it snaps. So you have to do one or the other as far as lengthwise and stuff like that go. So just be aware of that. But there you go. That's the large grain storage. Next up, we have the vehicle workshop, which I don't sure why someone hasn't done this sooner, but this is Top Ace 888s. This is 7.71 megabytes to download for all platforms. These are two workshops. And if you go into here, they're just the same as the base game ones, but they're just retextured. We have a wooden vehicle workshop and a metal one. Both $28,000 to buy, both $50 a day in maintenance, and both look quite nice. Don't open up or anything, per usual. There you go. It's just something different than compared to, well, if we put out the, the base game workshop. Actually, this one looks very similar to that one. I think it's the same texture. But anyhow, <laughs> there's some more details on it, which I like quite a bit. So there you go. That is the vehicle workshop. Next up, and our final mod for the day is the Open Chicken Coop. This is by Top Ace 888 This is 1.73 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to be found in the store under Animal Pens. All the way down at the end, 10000 to buy, $20 a day maintenance, holds 100 chickens. So there you go. I believe chickens, right? That's right here is chickens. Looks like that's the feed as well. Um, ooh, maybe this is the actual one for chickens. That's the food trigger there, and probably where the eggs are going to spawn. But there you go. Nice detail on it. Just an open chicken coop. So there you guys have it. And that is everything, I think. Yeah, I think I've covered it all. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.